Hyderabad today is the manufacturing center of over 2,500 pharmaceutical enterprises of the country. Known as the bulk drug capital of India, the city's pharma cluster has a turnover of over 8,000 crore rupees per annum and employs over 2.5 lakh people. The industry is streamlined, better organized and every sector whether it is labor or processing people or R&D people, they are all available at most affordable competitive price in Hyderabad, making the sector to survive the international competition. P. Krishna Prasad began his entrepreneurial journey from the small town of Guntur, located 250 kilometers from Hyderabad in Andhra Pradesh. Going against his family's wishes, this BSc Physics graduate was determined to start something of his own. Moving base to the Pharma Center of Hyderabad in 1984, he set up a small company to give shape to his big dreams. I wasn't experienced in uh, the pharmaceutical business, neither technically or business-wise. And a lot of struggle and finally we managed to get through it and we established ourselves as a internationally known paracetamol company. And then they said, okay, paracetamol is just a commodity. Uh, where do we go on from here? So we said, why don't we do this uh, pre-processed granules? We did that, and that really picked up. And with that, Granules India was well on its way to becoming a world-class pharmaceutical manufacturer, making active pharmaceutical ingredients, formulation intermediates, as well as finished dosages. Today, the company serves over 300 customers in 50 countries across the world, and has an impressive annual turnover of over 450 crore rupees. Uh, the main USB is uh, a philosophy. We want to collaborate with the innovators. We don't want to compete with anybody. We want to supply tablets to other companies and support them in their, uh, uh, for enable them to be competitive in the international markets. Being a fully vertically integrated pharmaceutical manufacturing company, Granules has over the years invested heavily into increasing its scale of operations. Today it produces thousands of tons of pharma ingredients and finished products. But while doing so, it has kept its research and development activities at the very core of its success. In fact, the company is planning to double its spend on R&D this year. Compared to other pharma industries, our unit is a high volume manufacturing plant. What our products we develop should be able to scale up to the very big batch sizes. That is a challenge for the R&D team here. Our focus in terms of re research and development on the chemical side is more about developing efficient processes using the latest and best technologies from the industry. Using that, uh, what has been developed over the last 20, 30 years, whether it's uh, membrane technologies, etc., to incorporate them to get, give us cost efficiencies. 85% of the company's revenues come from exports. With the availability of managerial and scientific talent, as well as labor at relatively lower costs than in the rest of the world, companies like Granules India have an edge over global competition. Making innovation its driving force, the company is setting new benchmarks in the pharma sector. We are trying to get into innovative uh, uh, molecules, working closely with innovator companies, uh, participating in their uh, introduction of products, developing new technology platforms. And we are formulating this strategy. We started some work, but uh, it's evolving. And in the next two years, we will see granules getting into a different uh, arena. The Indian pharmaceutical industry today is a front runner with its technology, variety, and innovation. But perhaps what constantly keeps it on top of the game is the quality. Being the third largest in the world in terms of volume, Indian manufacturers are extremely quality conscious today, adhering to strict global quality standards and building a positive image for brand India. They are after the most pure form of a drug without any impurities, without any extraneous matter, without any uh, safety offsets. So therefore we meet those standards. That's why we have been accepted. One of the granular success has been the quality and our transparency with which we interact with our customers. All 
goal of brand new success is achieved keeping the environment in mind dedicating large spaces to greenery at all of its manufacturing facilities and following eco-friendly business practices the company is trying hard to reduce its carbon footprint our main emphasis is on reducing the effluent and eliminate it as much as possible so all our technologies again that are being developed are uh, directed towards that too and meanwhile whatever effluent we generate today we have cut down the quantities and what little we have we treat it properly and send it to common treatment plants prin prasad alive making him believe that no challenge is insurmountable